This is one of our apiaries. We just uh, took the honey boxes off a while ago, added some top boxes of sugar. Um, you know, we're experimenting with our hive configurations this year. So we have a couple at the other farm in our house that are single story. We're gonna overwinter those as single deeps. Um, and then these guys, um, you know, they had so many bees that we were just concerned about losing a lot having them swarm on us, reducing them so, you know, I wouldn't say early, but, you know, it's still slightly warm out. And then this hive here, um, we brought this one from home. That's where we do all of our, our splits and queen rearing. So this is one of the queens that we reared this year, um, grafting, um, first year doing it. Uh, did <laughs> fairly decent uh, as far as I'm concerned. Probably what other people would say, we probably had a failure. Um, but, you know, I, I think we did pretty good. Um, probably grafted maybe 40 cells and we probably had like, I don't know, 20 succeed. Um, and that's all the way to get getting to being mated, um, not just, you know, hatching out and things. Uh, so we brought that one from home. We're going to do a combined because we thought this guy here, um, which we call Peaches, um, or this girl, um, was queenless. We couldn't find a queen when we were up here a couple days ago. Um, so we were just trying to get some bees away from our house and, you know, fix that hive. But I went through it today and I found a queen um, and found lots of eggs. Didn't find any mature brood past the uh, beginning larvae stages, but you know those boxes are completely packed. Um, but that's a new queen. Um, when we were here about a week and a half ago, they had cells in there, um, which we took a couple home, and we successfully raised queens from those cells. Um, didn't grab those, obviously, but um, you know we're in upstate New York, and we're in almost the middle of September here, and. We, we were pretty happy we got some queens mated um, but the queen that came back from the cells in this one again you know she's laying eggs so she was successful and then we took two frames well we took a lot of frames actually but we separated those frames um, and had two cells in each uh, in two four by fours uh, nooks at home with bees um, so this hive was actually four stories tall uh, when we took it, um, you know, when we reduced it, um, so those queens successfully made it as well at home, um, and they're doing fairly decent for just starting to lay as of last weekend, or no, not last weekend, um, at the beginning of this week. I might have my timeline a little off. I think we took those maybe two weeks ago when we took those, uh, the cells out of there, um, so, but these guys are all doing pretty good. Four queen, or five queens here, um, all doing fantastic. Uh, pretty happy with the way that things are developing. Mm -hmm. And their winter nests are gonna look, uh, or are looking pretty good. The strongest hive there is uh, the purple one on the end. Um, she has eight frames of medium brood, and then about four, four and a half frames of deep brood on the bottom. Um, and that guy just opened up for this girl um, probably about 45 minutes ago, so she, they're still doing some orientation flights, and obviously a little disorientated, but didn't see the queen come out, so I'm happy about that. We did mark her at home, um, so I didn't, I didn't know that uh, she did come out, or unless she flew away or something. But I wanted to kind of take a picture of this. You can see um, next to the farm we have, uh, these are soybeans by the way. Um, lots of goldenrod, lots of foliage, uh, some different uh, colors of pollen all throughout here. But you can notice there are lots of honeybees working this goldenrod. It's like, I don't know if it comes through on the camera, but it almost looks like um, a mini swarm with how many bees I see flying in and out of, uh, of the goldenrod here. It's the same farm that we had, hence the uh, very quickly put up 
makeshift electric fence. I'll probably need to replace some of these poles soon. And back there is where the bear came from.